Hello everybody, this is Drew Naylor. Previously on The Wind Waker, we finally got the Master Sword right over here. Can't show Link wielding it because we're kind of in a boat right now, so uh, yeah. Anyway, before we got the Master Sword, we also finished the, uh, the Tower of the Gods and went to Hyrule and did all that stuff. Today, I'm going to be traveling to some islands to get some stuff, but first I need to equip my bow and arrow because... Um, I don't think it's here. Somewhere around in here. Whoop. Uh, there is a really bad or a big hurricane or storm somewhere. I don't know where it is. It's somewhere around in here. We need to go to it, but I don't know where it is. Wait, is it over here? Okay, this is kind of a problem because I kind of need that. Uh, where is it? Oh, okay. So what we're trying to look for is actually pretty far away from us. We need to, it might actually be up here at Northern Triangle Island. Actually, wait, I forgot to feed the fish. How could I ever forget to feed the fish? So yeah, I, I just didn't know what, where to go, because I thought what we needed was right in front of the exit for the Tower of the Gods, but it isn't necessarily. Let's go for here. No, it's not the fish. Oh, there's the fish. Let's go right over there, and then we can get the square of the map filled in. There we go. I'll just... Uh, I'll just... Uh, I guess I'm not gonna get rid of this because... Uh, the information could be interesting, I don't know. Sorry, there's the... Oh, that's what it looks like, okay on the map. I've done a fish fortune on you, small fry, and from what I can tell, it looks like you're fated to come to this place many times. Hopefully not as many as a certain other place in um, the Zelda series that involves the timeline that Link is in right now, and the keys that control that fate. They're none other than the lucky item such known as the Triumph Forks. Yeah, they're some sort of magical utensils. If you want to learn more about the Triumph Forks, talk to that guy Tingle. That's what the fish fortune told me. Now, I may know... Uh, now I may only be a fish, but my fortune telling is uncannily accurate. You'd better believe it, small fry. And that's all the info I've got to offer. If you want to hear it again, you'll have to throw some more bait on the water for me. Sorry, but that's my policy, fry. I can't go fighting evil at- yeah, okay. Or, you know, you could just rewind the video. Where are we? Oh, okay, so we need to go there. I'm gonna speed it up. So we're just gonna go right up here. Hopefully this has what we need. Otherwise it'll be at another island. I didn't think that it was so far out of the way. I thought it was literally right in front of the uh, Tower of the Gods. But no, apparently not. So anyway, if you notice that the video actually looks different from last time, that's actually because I ended up buying a RetroTINK 5X Pro to hopefully improve the quality of these videos without having to use the uh, detail preserving upscale. Oh, there it is. Okay, good. In the detail preserving upscale in Premiere, which use which takes hours to render. Even on a <laughs> foolish creature who does not fear the gods, to the end of the sea with you. Let the winds of Cyclos' wrath blow you away. And we just have to 
shoot him a few times. Is that the best you can do? That's a heck of an arm you got there. Yeah, I know. It's called pressing the X button multiple times in a row to just hopefully hit the target correctly. And what an eye. No one's ever been able to spot me in there before now. Yeah, you know what it's called? It's called a cutscene. You obviously have mastery of the air. And now that we've established that you're quite the Wind Waker. <laughs> Title drop. Let's see if you can handle this. Down, right, left, up. You learn the Ballad of Gales. Wahoo! In the hands of a Wind Waker like you, my adorable little cyclones will be as happy as can be. We will walk together, hand in hand. If you need to move like the wind over the ocean deeps, just call in my cyclones. Well, I guess I'll head for home now. See you down on down the road. So yeah, now we can teleport to various places here, but I need to teleport somewhere over in here to get the next thing that I want. So anyway, as I was saying, it takes like two hours to render uh, one of the episodes even on a Ryzen 5800X. It's the specific- oh, I got it right on- I put the cursor right on the thing. Yeah, that was the last episode. Episode 22. That took, like, two hours to render on a Ryzen 5800X. It would have taken four hours on a Core i7- roughly four hours on a Core i7-4790. So, it was quicker, but still- took a while. Actually it wasn't like half as half the time it was like instead of almost four hours it was just over two hours. Something like that. Young Waker of the Winds, how did you manage to find this place? I am the queen of the fairy world. I have been awaiting your arrival. But now is not yet the time for us to meet. You still have many challenges to overcome. You seek to protect an individual very dear to you. Yes, I know of her, but there is yet another in this world whom you must protect. Come visit my fountain again when you have met that individual, when the time has come for you to face new challenges. At that time, I shall show you my true self. Oh. Where are we supposed to go? Well, that was my plan for the episode, so, uh, hang on. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right, I looked it up, and we actually have to go to the Forsaken Fortress, so let's just warp to Tingle Island. It's right next to us, and then we can just sail right there. Spin the wind around. Oh no! No! What is that? Um. I mean, I've looked up what they are before, but. <laughs> ah.
Sometimes the water flashes red. I don't know if I'll be able to show that glitch. I've talked about it before. It's just weird. Sometimes it happens when they try to hit me in the boat, and I, I don't know why that is. Doesn't seem to be happening here. Not sure what's going on. Oh, I'm going to the wrong island. Maybe I should have actually um, paid attention to where I needed Link to go instead of just doing my usual thing of pointing Link in the direction I need to go and then putting the wind in that direction. So, uh, yeah. Since we haven't actually gone to Forsaken, f sailed to Forsaken Fortress before, I will sail there. Last time we went here, we, uh, just... We went with the pirates, so... We didn't actually sail there properly. But I will speed this up. One major benefit that I've noticed f that I that I get from the RetroTink 5X Pro, besides being upscaled, I hope it actually looks okay because, um, well, I I don't think I'm getting that much of benefit from upscaling something that's already in 480p and is has 3D graphics, but. I have noticed that the colors are very accurate, as far as I can tell, and I can actually play Wind Waker on my monitor, my main monitor, instead of the small TV that I have on the side. Here I'll actually show what the thing looks like. There, I took a picture, and I'll be putting the little side TV thing in there so people can see it. Okay, now I need to turn the wind again. Oh, and you can see off in the right side the Forsaken Fortress, I think. Oh, there's a treasure right here. Uh... Oh, no. Okay. Uh, there's a treasure right here. Let's see if I can get it. I don't know. I hope I'm in the right spot. Ah. Okay, I'm just slightly past. Is it right here? Oh, there we go. It's right here. I wonder what this is. Probably just rupees. It'd be really nice if this was a piece of heart, though. Oh, okay, so silver rupee. Nine, or 200 rupees. That'll help out later. So this is the Forsaken Fortress, right up here. Um, but I have noticed that even though the resolution might not be way better, or look, it might not look like a native full HD game, it at least seems to look better. And the color, as far as I can tell, is correctly picked up. I think. Did I already? Yeah. No. Oh! Oh yeah, they put the treasure on the map. Oh yeah, over on the right too. Oh, and something else I've noticed. You can see color, colored lines over here, like this square has green, blue, and I think red lines on it, and all these squares do. And there's this, and there's this ship right here that's actually m in much more detail through the 5X Pro than just 40p and then upscaled f in software. And like here, you can see yellow line between these two uh, squares, and down here, and over here, there's a whole bunch too. See, it's, it just looks a lot better. 
uh, mostly in the colors. Pulls out the colors better. Okay, so here's the Forsaken Fortress. And now we're... We're gonna go in here with a sword so we can actually fight stuff instead of sneaking around. Um, but I'm not sure where the opening is. Uh, ah. Okay. It's right here. Oh, why is it doing that? Oh, that scared me. There we go. Ganon has likely been made aware of our little incursion already. But you have the Master Sword. That sword shall shine in the darkness, casting back evil with it in your hands. None can keep you from rescuing your sister. Do not be afraid. Okay, let's -a go. Yeah, and they they can't take us. Oh, yeah. Okay. So it's this. So we got to pretend to go up here. Oh no. Oh, it's It's a uh, pup, or not? It's Shadow Gant, or I can't remember. Well, we have to just play electric ball tennis, and now we have to run up to him and hit him with the sword a few times. Did you know that- oh, Phantom Ganon. That's right. Uh, did you know that you can actually use a bottle? Oops. During this fight? To- instead of your sword? Um, I'm sure that a lot of people know that. I just wanted to share the knowledge. Oops. That- a lot of people probably already know. But if you wanted to, you could do that. I'm not doing it because I I don't have a spare bottle. I don't have a spare. Oh. Oh, oh, it's running really slowly. I hope that's not a problem. Just, I don't know. Why it's running so slowly? I hope that's not a problem with my hardware or anything. So now this door opens up. And so does the other one on the other side of the thing. Oh. You got the skull hammer. Set it to and use it with YZ or X. This mighty hammer can break things and pound obstacles into the ground. Some enemies even get stunned by the shock waves it causes when you pound the ground with it. Please don't. Okay, we're in here. Oh wait. 
Oh wait, I think we need to go up here first. Or something, I don't remember. Maybe. You can actually get through the... Oops. You can actually get through those without... I think without having to use or defeat Phantom Ganon. And then you can flatten those. Or... Uh, vat them across the level. I think you just have to run all the way up here. Or something. I really do not remember this part, but it is so much better now that we can actually use a sword. Um, yeah, okay. So, wait, we have a map. Where's my map? Wait. Oh, we can go up here. But... I made bad decisions. No, we can... We can... Do this. Oh. Oh yeah, here's that treasure chest that I forgot to get all the way back. It's a yellow rupee. If you wanted me to... want to see me actually collect that one. Now we just need to run through here and find someone. Oops. Oh no, no. No, no, no. Um... I think it's through here somewhere. We... I hope we can just kind of run through here and not really have to do too much. Wait, I think we have to climb up here. Too bad the enemies don't decide, oh, I'm not going to attack you if, if you get on a ladder. Because, or like, oh, uh, uh, I don't like this. Okay, good. I didn't think I could get up there. Um, and then we go through here. I do not like the Forsaken Fortress, but it's slightly better when you can just, you know. Wait, what? Do I have to fly through here? Okay, hang on. I did it right that time. So now we get magic back. 
and yeah okay we just fly through there so that's fine and then Oh no. I I saw that moblin statue thing up there. It's not a goblin because goblins have water go out of their mouth. The moblins I saw the moblin statue and was like, oh it's just a moblin statue to scare any intruders. No. It's one of the ones that are inside. That um shoot lasers at you. So it's just kind of somewhere up here, I think, is the next part. Oh, yep, I'm remembering correctly now. I'm glad that you can kind of just hurry through the Forsaken Fortress and not really... Oh, wait, no, we have to uh, do this right here. There we go. Ah, more magic. Oh. They're watching me. <laughs> Wait, where is that? Oh no. Okay, um... There we go. No need to worry. We hit the button and open the door. And then we go on in. There's Link's sister. Big brother! You're okay. I was worried. Hi. The cell won't out open that easily. There you go, acting before you think, as usual. I swear, do you even realize that we had to draw that monster bird off for you? It was about to come flying in here after you again. I wonder why... Is that a glitch? The Master Sword and Shield shaking, but... I don't think I remember that. That sword! Where did you get that? Are you... Is it even possible? How could it be? <clears throat> well, never mind about that. For now, we'll just take these girls. I'm sure that their fathers back in town will pay a handsome reward for their return. And now Link's sister is free. I'm so sorry to interrupt such a heartwarming reunion. But isn't there still something that you need to take care of? If you're worried about your sister, don't be. I promise I'll deliver her safely back to your little island. Usually I would expect a huge reward for something like this, but this time it's my treat. Listen, Errol, your brother still has some things to take care of, to take things to take care of. Big important grown-up things. 
He'll be back soon, so you just wait nice and quiet until he returns, okay? Yes, the grown-up who's like... what? I don't know. I don't think... pretty sure Link's not an adult in this game, so... But, big brother! Miss Tetra, we have to hurry. The bird will be here any second. Gonzo, excellent. You're just in time. Take... Take this one for me, I I think. Oh, but she's 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 fine. Just do as you're told. Big brother. Link, we'll be back. I swear. I thought I saw something on the right side of the door. Hmm. I wonder if that was a thing from the game development. I'm not sure. Oh no, the bird's back again. And now we run. Up here. This music really gives me Mario and Luigi vibes. Particularly Partners in Time. Oh. Usually I'm really good about at this. Usually I'm fine at this part, but I just kind of um, misjudged the jump. Oh, whoops! Oh no. Okay, so I guess we have to like swim around right here and wait. Yeah, this kind of takes a lot longer when you have to wait for the water to go up for you to get back on the platform. Oh. Oh. The, uh. Book Goblin, I think? Is. Oops. Is on the edge trying to climb back up. Okay, come on. Oh. Do I have to go over here to. Get the water to go up? Or do I have to do something with this? With these pots? I doubt it. Wait, maybe I have to... Oh! I don't know what I have to do here, but I'm guessing that I have to... Ah. Oh! I didn't see this one here before. A lot of wasted time, and I'm sorry for not. Oh, whoops, there's a thing down there, and I'm sorry for 
being really bad at that part, even though I knew how to do it, and then I didn't know the backup strategy of climbing on the things. I thought you just run up it and the water takes you up. But the bird is still alive, so... Where is it, though? Oh, it's over there. And we can't... I'll target it. Where is it? There it is. Okay. Are you gonna... peck the ground? There. Good. Uh, because the only way to damage it is actually pecking the ground. It has a few other attacks. Um, can you peck the ground again, please? Thank you. And now it goes back up into the air. And then we have to wait for it to go back down. Can you please peck the ground again? Thank you. Oh, there's more than three. Oh, nope. Okay, and now it's not pecking the ground immediately. And it's just... Um... Okay. I think this might be where... I hope it'll peck the ground. Yep, there we go. Yeah, so four. And now it's... And it's protection mask thing is off. Oh, it's still there. It hasn't faded away. Oh! It's actually... Oh, it's actually a physics object. Or something, I don't know. Or it's an object that interacts with physics. Oops. Oh yeah, that's so cool. Oh, and I went right under its feet. Or right between its feet, I guess. Oh. Okay. This uh, boss is actually really bad for speedruns because whether it decides to peck the ground or do this, blow you into the sides, or skid across the thing, is all RNG dependent. And you have to just roll like that. Oh, and you're gonna do that again. I guess that makes up for me gu guessing correctly that you're going to peck the ground three times in a row. There we go. You're done. And we get our next heart container. You got a heart container. Your life energy has increased by one, plus your life gauge has been replenished. And now we get to go up here. Oh, those are rocks. With nothing in them. Can we pick up? No, we can't pick those up and wave them around like they're a, a sword. 
Now I have to go all the way up here. And wonder who's all wonder who's over here. Wow, what a view. It's been a while, boy. You have done well to sneak into my fortress and wiggle your all your way all the way up here. I suppose the least I can do is commend you for your reckless courage. My name is Ganondorf, and I am the master of Forsaken Fortress. By the way, boy, when you had when you had drawn that sword of yours out of its pedestal, did you by chance notice how all of the monsters frozen in time down there suddenly began stirring again? Do you understand precisely what that means? I highly doubt you do. Foolish child. While that sword is indeed the blade of evil's bane, at the same time, it has long played another role. You see, it is also a sort of key, a most wretched little key that has kept the seal on me and my magic intact. By withdrawing the blade, you have broken that seal. You cannot defeat me with a blade that does not sparkle with the power to repel evil. What you hold is useless. Go back to the world below and tell that to the pathetic fools who made this blade. Its power is gone and its edges are dull. Link, get up! Ah, uh, stop! Let, let me go! I'm not sure who's saying you pathetic little sea rat. I think that's Gandor. You pathetic little sea rat. <gasps> My Triforce of Power is resonating! Ha! <laughs> At long last! I have found you, Princess Zelda. What? What are you talking about? I don't know any Zelda. Feigning ignorance will gain you nothing. Tell me, if you are not Zelda, then why do you have this fragment of the Triforce? No time to chat, let's get going. Baloo says hi. Baloo sends his regards, I guess. It's all right, Link. She has merely lost consciousness. Your sister has escaped the Forsaken Fortress with the pirates. You can relax. She's safe now. Lord Valu, you have arrived not a moment too soon. We are deeply grateful. Oh, I guess it would be... Lord Valu sends his regards. I am aware of this. Yet, 
I thought that our first priority should be to separate these two from Ganon's grasp. There he goes. Like, I will explain things later. Now, we must return to the world beneath the sea. Well, I guess we're going back down again. Only... an episode after we left. Oh, ow. Link, you're alright? What is this place? Hey, in Ganondor, what happened to him? Oh. Link, what are you doing? You must come now to the room where you got the Master Sword. Who's using that stone? Just who are you? Link and I are the only ones who can speak through the stone. How dare you use what's not yours? Your name is... Your name is... Tetra, correct? You must come with Link to see me at once. <laughs> well, don't you sound important. Fine, we're on our way. Just hold your horses, whoever you are. Link, what are you waiting for? You heard this. You heard the stone. You're supposed to show me how to get where, how to get to where that voice is. And with that. I thought you could, I thought with the arrow thing that let you pick up other characters. I don't know. What are you, no, I don't know. What are you doing? Show me where the owner of that voice is. So now, I guess it, I can end it off here. In the next episode, what we're going to do is go back into Hyrule Castle and go see where that voice is. Goodbye for now.